I salute to all of you now. I greet you. How are you day? We call it our eco village. Eco meaning ecologically friendly village. Uh, we call these houses passive house prototypes. And the reason we call them passive house prototypes is because they are comfortable to live in without any kind of mechanical ventilation. The houses have cross ventilation, natural lighting, they are cool inside, and they use solar power. Right now we are off grid, not intentionally, but because we've not been able to bring power to the building yet. So they use the solar panels for light at night and for pumping up water. The energy efficiency technology is very simple. We have cool walls. This is a hydroform interlocking blocks. We built these without cement mortar. The blocks were actually interlocking and it was very easy to put them up very quickly. And these blocks are very cool inside. We have a cool roof, in other words, a light colored roof. We have wide roof overhangs. All the windows are shaded and the building itself is partly shaded. Each of the overhangs is a minimum of two foot six to give not only the windows protection, but to shade the walls and keep the walls cool. And then we have, we raise the building off the floor, off the ground. So the foundations are quite high. You can see how high the foundation is. And then we backfill the site. So the foundation was at about 1.2 meters above the, above the ground. And we did this for flood prevention. And then we have courtyards to enhance the ventilation. So we have, uh, we try to give as much space as possible between the two buildings for optimum ventilation. And we have 7.5 meters between the two buildings, also for space for children to play. You can come out at any time. Natural breeze will be, will be touching you, will be blowing you. Here yeah, is very, very convenient. And then we use louvers so that you have maximum ventilation, maximum natural lighting and cross ventilation. Then inside the rooms, we have high level windows to enhance the ventilation. So the house is self-cooling, the air just moves through. We call this enhanced ventilation. I'm a man that cannot stay in a house without fan or AC. But for this be very, very apartment, I don't have any problem for that. The place is naturally cool. Naturally, natural breeze come in here, which I don't even know whether they are from these ventilations. I don't know, the place is always very cool. In the afternoon, in the night. There is ventilation from this side and from this side, so the breeze come in well and make the place cool for us. In our own view, these houses are affordable to the average Nigerian because each one bedroom flat goes for about five million. And we believe that the average Nigerian can afford it. And once they make the down payment, they are on the road to ownership. That down payment guarantees that they will own the houses. And then depending on what they can afford, they will pay over five to 10 years. The energy cost of the occupants right now is much lower than where they are coming from because they have almost no energy costs, almost none. They use the solar power. Occasionally, they use a generator for one thing or the other. So they have to put in fuel. But apart from that, their energy costs are much lower than the NEPA bills they used to pay where they're coming from. The technology of these houses is completely local. We use local labor, local technology, and local materials. The hydroform compressed earth blocks were molded on site. Laterite was brought from nearby Obey in Abia State and was molded right here on site. We brought a hydroform machine and we molded this on site. The blocks were molded on site. The labor was local. We got labor, labor from the neighboring village. Carpenters, masons, roofers, everybody was local. And we built the houses in a relatively short time. At some point, we ran out of money, but if we hadn't run out of money, it would have taken us 12 weeks to build these houses. Everything was local. The only thing that was imported were the, hydro, were the solar panels. And we used a Nigerian to install them. We think it's important that all levels of Nigerians can afford to live in energy efficient green housing.
we think it's very important because that's the only way we're going to address the housing deficits.